So this is going to be the epicenter. A nice cold frosty morning. That's been really really mild last week and this is definitely the area that you want to be in without a doubt. Look, there's loads of fish everywhere. Don't know if you could see that on the camera. There's one there. Another one over there. You got these two lovebirds here. Unfortunately, I didn't draw the epicenter, but Mr. Hainsworth did, and fair play, he didn't put it to waste. He uh, won the lake quite easily. So this is the first fish I've hooked on bread, and it is fouled up. And uh, I did play it quite gingerly, pardon the pun, been ginger because uh, obviously I didn't want to lose it so for those who don't know this is uh, peg 11 on arrow uh, it's um, round 7 of the Alf Church Winter League there's 9 rounds in total so obviously after this one there's 2 rounds left now you are allowed to drop 2 out of the 9 rounds so um, you know you do draw yeah, a not a very favourable area or it doesn't go quite according to plan then at least you've got a couple of droppers in so I, th I think that's a good thing to be honest I know some leagues don't have any droppers but I think personally for me I think it's nice to have a dropper because then your league's not over if you have a real bad you know draw or just a bad match Now it was evident that the lake was fishing quite hard. Um, Chase next to me has had one carp, and Paul on the end on peg 14 has had a carp as well. Um, it, it wasn't fishing great. A few early fish were caught, but these little things were annoying. So loose feed in to my left because basically peg 10's in next to me we just about see his pole then I'm on 11 12's not in and then 13 and 14 then 15's not in so we got a four peg section the section below is a five peg section and so all I'm really interested in is just obviously trying to win my section because obviously you know less points mean prizes and um my section is fishing very hard, but Paul is catching on the end, which is surprising because peg 14, to be honest with you, is not where you've wanted to be at all on this lake. It's a bit weird, really, because it's probably one of the deepest parts of a lake. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that is the deepest like, part of the lake. So you like to think, being cold, flat, you know, you like to think the carp will get up there, but I don't know why, but they seem to have stay more in the middle of a lake normally to be honest but hey they do move and they really do move on horseshoe at times
So I was glad I made the decision to get a toss pot on and tap in some maggots and fish a relatively lightish rig with very light elastic um, so I wouldn't bump any of these fish because there's some roach worth catching, some roach and um, what you call it, quite a lot of hide and skimmer so and if I did hook a carp I'd stand a chance getting it out as long as it didn't snag me down the middle of the lake but that's another story, a bit annoying but never mind, didn't cost me anything so I ain't going to use that as an excuse. So I was quite surprised that it was catching quite a few eyed against the far bank. Now I'm thinking, happy days, this is quite good. Because I'm just tapping in a few maggots. Like, I don't know, maybe 15 maggots, maybe a bit less. So not loads. And then I'm loose feeding maggots, obviously, like I said earlier, to my left. Which is probably about 30 metres. And I like spreading them around. Now I haven't seen any signs of fish swirling or boiling or anything like that. I don't think I'm going to be that lucky to be on an absolute shed fall but i'm thinking this is going to be good shallow now this is my first like drop on there literally so just ship out and i'm thinking this should be quite good hopefully i'm going to catch a couple of quick eyed and then i'm probably gonna to have to go a bit deeper and chase them and then maybe go on the bottom catch a few skimmers and roach well that was the plan So it turned out to be a little bit of a frustrating match. I mean, I was lucky I had some bites, so I'm not moaning, but um, lack of carp. Last hour, I've had to fish for carp. Um, pool on the ends, I had 10 carp for £45. Um, Chase has had £8. Uh, I've had £33. I've had three carp. And probably the lowest £20 of silvers. Um, yeah, I'd say my free carp probably would have gone about 10 ish pound, probably a bit more, maybe 11 pound. So, yeah, about 22 pound of silvers. Um, and it, it fished really well. There's a weights might be worth like pulls in. Um, just I hope I draw really, really well in a couple of weeks' time on canal. So, fingers crossed and toes crossed and anything else.